Yes, it is. It is the E-Man After Show. We are back. We are back. We are back. We are back in the building. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to the ride. It is the E-Man After Show right here on We Talk Radio Network. We are back live. So appreciative of all of you guys that's coming in on the phone lines tonight. All of you guys that's coming in on the uh, network on tonight. Listen, we're all around the globe. And we have a YouTube channel, guys, that we want you guys to... Uh, uh, follow us on our YouTube channel. You can go to We Talk Radio Network. You can like, you can share, you can make a comment. But man, if they want to subscribe, how do they subscribe? So guys, you would just hit the subscribe button that, and also hit the notification bell, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so you have the subscribe button and also you have the notification bell, uh, bell that will keep you updated on everything that's going on on We Talk Radio Network. And also you will receive a notification when new content has been uploaded. Yes, and uh, you guys can do that. Listen, we're on all social media. Mm-hmm. You can follow us at www.wetalkradio.com. Yes. Man, they talk, we're on about 50 platforms. 50 platforms. We're all around the globe, man. That's right. Yeah, we are, are all around the globe, and uh, we're on about 50 platforms. Man, can you give us some of them sites that we're on over there? Uh, sure, sure. So this is just a few. We're on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Overcast FM, Pocket Cast, Castro, CastBox, Buzzsprout, Poppy, iHeartRadio, YouTube, TuneIn, Blog Talk Radio, Spotify, Amazon Music, Claire FM, Listen Notes, Podcast, and Deezer. <laughs> Man, we're on, we're on so many platforms, but we want to appreciate all of you guys mm-hmm. that uh, listen to this show. Listen, you can find We Talk Radio on about 50 platforms we're heard all around the globe and we want to thank you guys for making us your number one listening station yes like i said this is mental health awareness month and uh we really want to talk a little bit about that tonight Mm -hmm. why because people are having you know Issues going on in their psyche, man yeah a lot of people have a lot going on Mm -hmm. and just you know seeing a lot that's happening around the world, Iman, and how it's impacting others, you know. Mm-hmm. It may not be something that they're necessarily associated with, mm-hmm. but to hear and to see, um, it's, it's the magnitude, you know, of, mm-hmm. of concern right now. So, you know, we wanted to invite the doctor on tonight so that she can kind of enlighten us and give and educate us on, um, on stress, you know, on the psyche, mm-hmm. and also to answer any questions that you listeners may have. Yes, why? Because man, if you if you like us, we went on the wire, and if you like us checking out the news, man, we we in Dallas Fort Worth, and boy, seems like every day this week, if I turned on the news, somebody done shot somebody. Mm-hmm. We got all kind of shootings going on. We got people just shooting people, just shooting them down. Right. And so we got so much going on. So we know a lot of people are dealing in their psyche, and then when we look at the uh, Buffalo, New York, the mm-hmm. shooting that happened up there. Mm. Uh, yesterday, the young man went into the store and he just, you know, even though it was a uh, hate crime, you know, he was targeting black folk. He was. And, uh, you know, listen, somebody should have been able to see that this young man had a problem. Mm. But it was ignored. And and, uh, and so that's in the news. Then yeah. we come right back this evening and check out the why we had a shooting in California at a church. We did. You know, so it's, it's, it's a lot going on. It is a lot going on. Yes. And, uh, and, and, and it's mental. Mm. It's mental, but we got the good doctor. We have Doctor Tamara Thomas is going to be joining us on tonight, mm-hmm. Andy, and we so appreciative for her to come on. Why? Because uh, she's qualified to talk to us tonight. Hello, Doctor Tamara, are you there? Hello, good evening to both of you all and the listening audience. Well, good evening to you, Doctor Tamara Thomas. Welcome to the E Man After Show over here on We Talk Radio Network. Thank you, ma'am, for staying Thank up a little late. With us and hanging out with us, cause uh, we this is a late show, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Tamara. This is a late show, and uh, you know, but I found out it's a lot of people don't go to bed late at night, Dr. Tamara. They can't sleep, so they find themselves right. listening to the E Man After Show. But I, I appreciate That's you, me and me, and appreciate you coming on right. and hanging out with us tonight. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you so much. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here. Yes, well, we're glad to have you. And ladies and gentlemen on the network, you know, this is a men's show. This is what we men come around the domino table. And uh, we have some great discussions. And uh, 
uh, last year, I think we talked about men and health. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Tamara Thomas gave us a lot of uh, uh, tips, you know, where we men can take vitamins and, mm -hmm. and do all that type of stuff to, you know, keep up with, you know, what's going on with us. Right. And so we was appreciative of that. So tonight we wanted to bring you on, Dr. Tamara, because we want to talk about mental health tonight. We want to talk about uh, uh, how we can discern what's mental and what's not. And so with that being said, ma'am, let me ask you, uh, well, let me, let's do it this way. To all our listeners around the network that's on the phone lines that don't never heard of you, Dr. Tamara, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are and what you do, ma'am? All right, I'll be glad to do that. First of all, let me just say again, thank you so much to both of you all for the invitation to be here. It is an honor to be here. Um, this topic is one that is very, very important, especially during the season and time that we're living in. Um, mm -hmm. A little bit about myself, uh, I am a chiropractor by trade. I also mm -hmm. am a stress and anger management professional since 2007. Um, I facilitate and uh, anger and stress management classes and do corporate coaching for that. I am in the ministry, as you all have said, and also a nonprofit leader. Um, my degrees are in psychology, human services management, uh, doctor of chiropractic, and honorary doctorate of ministry. Um, and so some of the reasons why I, I guess, qualify um, for this topic <laughs> is because of my undergrad degrees, of course, in psychology, medical school, and then I've been certified in stress and anger management under psychiatrists Dr. T Tony Fiore and Dr. Ari Novick, um, and then ordained in 1996. So I've canceled quite a few over the last how many years and had my fair share of casting out demons as well. <laughs> so um, that's what brings yeah. me uh, to the point of being able to even have the conversation with you all tonight. Um, and I just wanted to point out that some of the organizations that I serve in, I am the co-chair of health for the Collin County NAACP, um, assistant vice president of finance for Junior League, president nominee for Plano West Rotary Club, and the COO of Douglas Visions Community. So I, I do a lot of service in the community just to be yeah. uh Mm -hmm. To sum that up. Right. Yes. And so, ladies and gentlemen, she is qualified. Yes, she is. Well, Dr. Tamara, we're going to jump right in. We want to appreciate you for all of that. And to those of you listening on the network and on the phone lines, we just want to jump right in because we know we are in some trying times. And if you can turn on the news or wherever you get your uh, news from, you can. People are stressed out. You know, people are overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. You know, and so uh, let's. You know, talk to us a little bit about Dr. Tamara, because, you know, especially for our culture, a lot of us don't, you know, feel like we, how would you say it, feel like we even deal with mental, you know, things are not mental with us. And so can I mm -hmm. help us understand, you know, when we are, you know, getting too overwhelmed and stressed out when our body is speaking to us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Um that's a, that's a whole lot in what you just said. Um, first of all, dealing with why uh, we, and when I say we, I'm talking about mostly African Americans don't feel mm -hmm. that we have mental illness um, is because of a lot of different things. First of all, the the stigma that goes along with mental illness. People think if you have an issue or problem that you're dealing with, it means you're crazy. You know, that's that's right. the word that we use, crazy. Uh, something is wrong with you and you're not able to uh, deal with life uh, if you have any type of issue. And so, therefore, um, there, you know, it's a stigma. Also, you know, talking about socioeconomic, you know, background, in the African-American community, a lot of times we don't get the health care that we need and most especially the mental health care that we need um, because, number one, systemic racism in the medical uh, community, but also uh, we don't have the health care and mm -hmm. the insurances that we need in order right. to seek and get that help. And then the other thing is, you know, a lot of times we go to the church before we go to the doctor to mm -hmm. uh, seek assistance in um, 
in different mental health conditions. Um, and there's nothing wrong with going to the church. I'm the first to say that. Uh, but right. sometimes, depending on what the condition is, you need medicine. It's just like in, in the medical field. I'm a chiropractor, so I'm a holistic doctor. And mm-hmm. um, forgive my background. I'm a holistic doctor. Um, and there, if you break your arm and you need, you know, your arm fall off and you need it sew back <laughs> on, you wouldn't go to a right. chiropractor. You go to a surgeon. Uh, yeah. If you need uh, uh, an alignment in your nervous system because your body is shutting down because your nerves aren't able to give the necessary communication to your organs, then you come to a chiropractor and get that alignment. You wouldn't go have surgery for that normally.